Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a highly anticipated eyebrow tutorial. You guys have been wanting this for a really long time, so. I'm here to do it today. I kept putting it off for the longest time. One, because I am the biggest procrastinator literally ever. Like, I will procrastinate anything for the longest time. And two, wow, this is not a good angle. But two is because I literally had no idea how I really wanted to be doing my eyebrows. Because I used to use a pencil, and now I don't, and you'll see that later in the video. But now I don't use a pencil, and they look way better. Like, they used to look so bad and patchy, and everyone would come for me, but... Now I figured out how to do it. So I'm first going to show you the products that I use and then I'm going to go into the tutorial. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get That's <laughs> really weird. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the things I use. So I first use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Or actually, this isn't even in any particular order, but I use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. You'll see why later. And I also use the e.l.f. lock-on liner and brow cream. That's obviously the base of my eyebrows. Also, what the heck is this? I think it's marker for my project. I also use a concealer. It always changes, but this one works really good for carving out eyebrows. It's the Makeup Revolution Concealer. Um, and mine in the shade C3. I also use the Essence Lash and Brow gel and the two brushes that i use are the elf duo eyebrow brush and then lastly i use the morphe m432 brush which is just a flat brush that's great for carving out eyebrows so the first thing i'll do is i'll go in with the elf duo eyebrow brush thing and this side and what i'll do is i'll take the tart mist stuff and i'll just spray it a couple times and then I'll pinch the brush because it's not very um, thin as is, so I have to make it thinner by spraying it. Um, you could probably do it with water, but I just use the setting spray because it's a little, little bit tackier, so it helps it stay. And then I go in to the e.l.f. brow cream, and I'm in the shade light brown. For the longest time, I didn't think it was my shade, but it actually matches me really well. Um, I've used this much of it, if you were wondering and then i'll just take a little bit of the product just a little bit at a time oh wait i need to spoolie my eyebrows and then i'll just take a little bit of the product and i'll start at the arch of my brow so that's kind of like the base of my brow i like to do that first just so i can get it marked out where i want to place the product in my brow and then every time i dip in i have to pinch the brush it's like super annoying but if you guys know any good really thin brushes for eyebrows let me know because I am in need because this, this, it's like $2 so like I can't really complain but it gets really annoying. So yeah, then I'll just kind of draw out the tail. I know it looks kind of crazy right now but it won't at the end, don't worry. And then I'll kind of just take whatever product's left. I'll just run it in the front of my eyebrows on the bottom. So yeah, I just kind of make this whole line kind of a gradient right on the bottom and then I'll spoolie that out a little bit. I'll take the spoolie side again and I'll brush my eyebrows down. Next, I will just kind of make how I want my eyebrow to be shaped. I'm pretty much following the natural shape of my eyebrows, just making it more defined. At some point, I do want to try out the, the Anastasia dip brow, but for now, this is working pretty well. Um, the only thing is, is it does kind of get wonky throughout the day. I mean, it doesn't stay in place super well, especially if you put a lot in, but since I don't put too much in my brow, it doesn't get too bad. But if you put too much in, it might not be the best option. I'm just kind of filling it in, making it not as sparse. And as you can tell, just so far, it's like making a really good difference. Okay, so I'm pretty much just going to be adding more product in this part of my eyebrow, and I'll get back to you. Alrighty, I think I have it kind of how I like it now. So I'm just going to spray the brush again. And then I'm gonna pinch it super duper thin. I'm going to take a really small amount of the eyebrow stuff. Just draw some lines. Oh, dang. This looks really weird on camera. Why does it look so weird on camera? Next, I'm just going to grab this concealer, not concealer brush, this, the Morphe M432 brush and the Makeup Revolution concealer. And what I do is I just take take the brush and I'll just wipe it on the brush because then you get an even amount 
on your brush. Um, that was definitely too much. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start out here because that's what I focus on the most and that's where I want my brow to be the best. Wow, my phone just ran out of storage. So pretty much all I did was carve out my eyebrows. I feel like you guys have seen that plenty of times. I don't like to carve out the top of my brows because if I end up, because usually, I don't know, I just don't like that look. Next, I will just set my eyebrows, not set them, but like gel them. I hate when they're going all over the place. <laughs> I just like to brush them upwards because that's just the way my brows look best. Because like my eyebrows don't look good when they're just like that if they're not freshly trimmed i just make them to the side it looks really wonky at the arch let me fix that and i'll be back okay whatever it's fine i guess so yeah that's pretty much all i do for my eyebrows i mean that is all i do for my eyebrows it's not something too fancy eyebrows are definitely they definitely take me longer than a lot of other stuff on my face i don't know i just like to make sure my eyebrows look good and then everything else comes after anyways um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helped you out a little bit um a beginner can do this too why am i doing the outro like this i need to zoom out anyways like i was saying if you don't like how i do my eyebrows that's totally fine eyebrows are something that's personal preference everybody has a different way they like to do their eyebrows and everybody has a different shape of their eyebrows so um anyways make sure to give it a thumbs up and a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye I'll never stop.